Good morning, hashtag Mission Monday family. It is Sam with MissionMonday.com, and I'm going to let you know I'm going longer form today. And it's because of Sydney Jensen. You guys have heard me mention Sydney before. She's just finishing up her year as Nebraska Teacher of the Year. She's a super rad individual, and she posted a tweet that got me thinking a lot. And that tweet was, self-care is more than just a manicure. Now, if you had to look at my fingers, fingernails there, you know that I don't get manicures, nothing wrong with that. But that phrase self-care gets thrown out there a lot. And it is more than just a manicure. I don't know what you might think it is or care who you are. It's important to unpack that. And when I read that, I went, yeah, you're right. And then for two days, probably, I've been thinking about, okay, what is it? And there's a lot of different things I could say, but I want to focus on two today that are relevant to me. Um, a little bit of background on this. A couple of years ago, I was having some health issues and I needed some help to take care of them. Um, what they stemmed around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. We'll see if it shows up. If it doesn't show up, if you can't read that, that's okay, I'll tell you what it says. That, that's a blood pressure cuff. And today, this is actually reading from yesterday, it says 97 over 66. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, just so you know, it's a blood pressure cuff that says 97 over 66, which is some reasonable good blood pressure. And that hasn't always been the case for me. Um, like I said, a couple of years ago, I, I was having some health issues all around that. And the short version is I had an appointment with my physician and in taking my blood pressure that day, he said, looking at these numbers, did you know that you're tripling your chance for heart attack and stroke? And I was like, no, I did not. And he said, do you have any family history of either of those? And I was like, and yes, I do. And I don't want to get into the other details. I don't want to get into um, my specific measures to fix it. I feel good about a lot of things that I have done, but that might not be relevant to your self-care. Here's what I think should be relevant to your self-care. When Sydney says self-care care is more than just a manicure, um, here's a couple things that I think fit into that more than just a manicure. I think number one, you've got to get the help that you need. When it comes to self-care, you need, need to get the help that you need from the people around you. Um, I wouldn't be taking as good of care of myself. I wouldn't have that nice low reading of 97 over 66 on my blood pressure cuff without the help of my physician, without the help of my wife, without a great team around me, without a school board that supports me taking care of myself. Those things are so important. Self-care, absolutely 100%, has to be getting the help you need because very few of us can do this all on your own. Here's another thing that I think is really important to realize about self-care. Self-care in the long game is making sure that you have a greater impact for a longer time. And here's where I struggle with this sometimes. There are elements of self-care that take time. That is just you taking care of you. And in those moments, in those circumstances where it's just you taking care of you, taking whatever the measures may be that you need for self-care, it feels like maybe we're shortchanging someone else. We think, I could be doing this for someone else. I could be at that event. I could be providing this help. All of those different things. And that's not true. And what I mean by that is when I go back to that meeting with my doctor, when he says... Do you, you realize you're tripling your chance for heart attack and stroke? If I don't take the time for self-care, my guess is it's not gonna work out long-term that there's gonna be more of me to go around. Long-term, I'm compromising how long I'll be here. And if I'm compromising how long I'll be here, I'm compromising the number of positive interactions I can have, the number of people I will meet, the opportunities I will have for conversations with people. So every time that you go, you know what, I'm taking some time for me and you feel guilty about that me time, it's an investment in the long game. It's an investment in you being better in the moment when you have those opportunities because it's a better you and it's an investment in you long term 
because those minutes, those hours that you take for self-care, that's an investment that returns in years. The more years that you're gonna be around. And that is so, so, so important. So, again, I'm sorry, I went longer form today, but I think that's important. So, Sydney, when you say, hey, self-care is more than just a manicure, there's a lot that it is, but those are two things that I think are really important. Um, something else? While well, I'm going long form, I'd love it if you guys check out. I know I always ask you to go check out missionmonday.com, but I want you to go check out missionmonday.com. Click the events page because the next six things that Mark and I have lined up, I am so excited. I don't know that I've ever been this excited about six engagements in a row forever. I, the number of people we're going to get to talk to, the impact we're going to be able to have, the diversity of the audiences. I just feel so stoked about it. And there are some things on the horizon that I think are going to come up that are going to just add to that. So go check out all those super rad things that we're going to be at. And if you happen to be able to make it to any of them, we would love to see you. By the way, you want to get a hold of us because you want myself or Mark or Mark and I, which by the way, shows good when it's both of us. Um, we'd love that opportunity. All right. So you know what I'm going to say. It means a lot to me if you check out missionmonday.com. Love you guys.